Welcome back to Let's Play Metroid Fusion. Last time in Metroid Fusion, we learned that the X-Parasites were on board the BSL. Now, we have to go and investigate these biosigns in this one region, but first we gotta uplink with Adam. I have received news from HQ. They can support you with downloadable weapons data. Once you have this data, you will be able to use missiles. Alright then. This will help against some enemies your beam can't hurt. Head to the data room for the download. The data room is here. Is your objective clear? With missiles, your chance of survival climbs to 20%. Awesome. But yeah, like I said before, the X parasites are detected in the e region in that one region over there. But first, before we go and confront them, we have to go and get the missile data from the data room. Let's ride up the elevator, shall we? That computer reminds me of a Gruff Federation Commander Officer I served under named Adam Malkovich. He called me Lady on Missions. From anyone else, it would have sounded sarcastic, but Adam made it sound dignified. Out of respect and with some irony, I named the computer after him. That's one thing I like about this game, these little elevator uh, features that they have with Samus where she talks a little bit about various things like her life in the Federation and everything like that, which is pretty cool. Alright, we're now on the main deck right here, and if we proceed to the uh, left right here, there's a recharge room and a save room right there, but we're not going there, basically. We're gonna climb up here, we're gonna go up, open this door. We'll open link right here. <coughs> Excuse me. The data room is just ahead. And we're gonna go into the data room and get this missile data. We'll step in the center. And we have missiles! Now, hold R button and press the B button to fire. Awesome. So now we can use missiles. We just hold down the R button and push B to fire. What the heck? Electronic interference has knocked out the elevators on the main deck. This may be related to the X. I'll work on it. As for you, try to find another way to the tar target. It's located here. We have to head over there where those bio signs are from earlier. I'm reading huge bio signs, so I hope your missiles work. To reload missiles, you can re use a recharge room, orbs, or a special type of x parasite. You'll see them. Try it out. Is your objective clear? Yes. Missiles are your only hope. Don't hesitate to use them. Now find a way to the target. Gotcha. Basically, there's no way. Basically, what he was talking about is the elevators are not operational, so we need to find another way to the target. We use a missile to blow that up right there. I figured that out the first time I played this game, believe it or not. And since our beam can't hurt this thing, we have to resort to using missiles. Green X parasites will restore our uh, weapons energy, which is pretty cool. this game, of course, we can climb up those little ladders and stuff like that, which is awesome. And looky here! A missile tank! Now we got more missiles. You don't think that there's anything inside this room, right? Well, guess again. Shoot right there, and lo and behold, we get another missile tank. You're probably gonna see me find a lot of hidden items in various areas as I play through this game, so watch the video and take some notes. You'll probably be surprised. Right here, we have the, uh, the traditional eyeball door, where uh, it won't open until we fire three missiles at it. I forget what this thing is called, basically, but I'll look it up later on. Shoot! Also, whenever you destroy those doors, red X parasites pop out. And the Red X Parasites will restore all health and, of course, your weapons energy. And we got some ominous music right here. Whenever this music plays, that means a boss is coming up. We got ourselves an energy tank a while ago, but guess what? We shoot up here, and, uh, lo and behold, we find another energy tank. Not bad, huh? Now we drop down here. And that right there is a Core X, and the X are gathering together to form... I forgot what that creature is called. I think it's called an uh, Araka Shoes or something like that. And 
basically what this creature will do is swipe at us and shoot a crescent beam at us. It'll also run into a small, uh, roll into a ball and try and run us over. One other feature it has, it'll, it'll try and shoot fire at us. You gotta be careful of that. There's the fire breath. Jump over, and there we go. And with it weakened, there's the Corex. Now the only way to damage a Corex is to shoot at it. For no more Corex, you can only take it out with three different shots, basically. You can't shoot at it while it's flashing, basically. And with that, the Corex is destroyed. And we get a new X Parasite right here. What do we get when we absorb it? We get the Morph Ball ability. Now we can turn into the Morph Ball again. Awesome, right? But now we can go through small gaps and everything. So let me see. Morph Ball ability absorb. Proceed to navigation room. Okay, now that we got Morph Ball, we should go back to the navigation room and, room and uplink with Adam. Researchers. Poor guy. Then we jump up here and a plank. Samus, it's as I feared. The breeding environments have been invaded by X parasites. Sector 1 SRX shows several abnormalities on biosensors. Sector 1 is a simulation of the SR388 ecosystem. To get there, take the main elevator to the access shaft and use elevator 1. Is your objective clear? Yes. Use the navigation room just inside for further briefing. I'm not sure, but I think that whoever allowed the exit to the environment may also be linked to the earlier explosion. Oh boy. Now we gotta go to Sector 1 and stop the X parasites. It's from invading in there. Oh, right through that door is basically a recharge room, but there's no real reason to go through there. And we're not gonna save, we'll save on the way there, whenever we get to Sector 1, of course. <clears throat> there's nothing up there for the time being, since we can't open these green hatches, so we're just gonna ignore them and continue on. I really like this music right here. It gives you a certain bit of haste, as, you, as it says. I mean, it gives you a certain bit of haste, like saying, Move it, move it, move it! Gotta run, gotta go, gotta go! Morph ball down here, and you get an energy tank, believe it or not. You may jump up here, go through this door. Morph ball under here. And shoot that door to open it. Proceed down the hallway. Shoot it. Oops, sorry. And go down the elevator. What the hell? What the hell? Is that Samus's power suit? What the hell? I think we'll find out about that later on. But for now, let's continue on. Fun fact, when I first played through this game, that actually creeped me right the hell out. Anyway, here's Sector 1. Sector 1, SRX. Go through here. And uplink. Downloading map data. The main elevator leading to the access shaft has been severely damaged. It will be totally unusable for some time, unfortunately. Some unknown agent is at work. Something very powerful. Certainly not human. I'll report when I know more. Now listen closely. The X in Sector 1 have invaded the atmospheric stabilizers. They must want to alter their environment to their needs. They are already reproducing. Clear all five atmospheric stabilizers to stop them. Is your objective clear? You better believe it. Now get moving. You got it. We'll save right here. We're gonna continue on. 
going past the 10 minute limit uh, marker right here, but I don't care. This video is going to be longer than 10 minutes anyway. And all these zombie researchers. Continue on. Those little blue amoeba things are a real pain if you're not careful. When they grow big like that after destroying various X parasites, they will uh, grow bigger and multiply. They'll basically suck away your health, so you gotta be careful. Anyway, destroy that and move on. There's the atmosphere stabilizer right there. We gotta destroy the X parasites around it. Fun fact, if you look closely at this thing, you'll notice a Nintendo GameCube in the far left corner of it. Which is pretty cool, actually. Alright, now that's taken care of. There's still four more left we need to get. More horn toads. More horn orbs. And, uh, those things. Man, I keep forgetting what the names of most of these creatures are in this game. I'll just look them up next time. I'm a big fan of Metroid, and I should know most of this, most of the series in and out and everything, like some of the creatures' names and whatnot. But dang it! Anyway, let's go down and see what's down below real quick. This leads to the pathway, but I'm gonna go back up and go this way real quick. Aha! There's an atmospheric stabilizer in here. Good thing I turned back around when I did. Shoot these X parasites. These horn toads, move on. This mission is actually pretty simple once you understand what to do. And we destroy that one, and now there are three units left. Now we continue on. I'm recording this pretty late at night right now, just so as not to wake up anyone, so I'm keeping my voice down basically. shoot that thing in the face unless of course you use a missile, so it's best to, uh, just use a missile so you progress through this area and keep moving. Destroy the thing. And continue on. What do we got here? Uh-oh. Space pirates. But let's just ignore them and keep going here. That down there is lava. Boiling lava. Like, I, like Adam said earlier, this area is a faithful replica of SR388's ecosystem in a way. So we gotta be careful not to fall in there, otherwise we're gonna burn, burn to death! Anyway, continuing on. We got space pirates. Clinging into the walls, basically. and just keep moving forward. And there are those crab-like enemies right there. Anyway, we can continue on. Another atmospheric stabilizer in here. Destroy that one. We got two units still malfunctioning. Destroy these more toads. Move on. Destroy that thing and move on. Hmm, there's probably something down there, but we can't get to it, so just best to move on. And we got another atmospheric stabilizer in here, too. How convenient. Let's just find them on the way. And we make quick work of that one, and there's still one still malfunctioning somewhere. Alrighty, continue on. Let's see what's in this door. We get another inner missile tank. When you play games like Metroid, it's best to explore your area thoroughly to know exactly if there's something around, because you never really know exactly. Anyway, we gotta go up, so we'll take out these space parts as we climb up. The good thing about these space parts is that they drop down two X parasites for you to pick up, which is awesome. Quick way to recharge energy and everything. Anyway, continue on. Shoot that, open up the gate, and move on. This area's full of water, so we gotta be careful. 
since we can't move in water at the moment, it's going to limit our movement. Shoot that thing. Move on. Shoot. Alright. <clears throat> I forgot we don't have bombs at the moment. And there's another eyeball door. If we proceed on through here, there's a save room, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to save, basically. Save right here. And save complete. Alright. Destroy these horn toads. We don't need these X-Parasites, but they'll replenish our health regardless. Anyway, take out this eyeball door. That's one, two, and three. Here we go. More ominous music. Awesome, let's beep ahead. Hey, a Chozo statue. Beam weapon up here? Uh-oh. This is another type of uh, Corex right here. This type of Corex, basically, you have to shoot at its eye in order to damage it. it these type of Corexes carry beam upgrade weapons that you want to get. And we destroy that one. And what do we get for our reward? Hey, we got the charge beam back. Now, now we can charge the beam up and everything. We just press and hold down B to charge up our weapon. Awesome. Now that we got the charge beam, let's continue on. Now with the charge beam, we can uh, shoot even more powerful energy blasts. Shoot this wall right here. And look at all these crab enemies right here. So tank, so let's continue on. Ignore these X parasites and continue on. Destroy the home toads in a way. I still find that amusing that a GameCube is right there in the midst of all that matter with the atmospheric stabilizer. Could it be hinting at the could it be hinting to hinting at the GameCube for everything like that? Well I think this game was released sometime before the GameCube was released. Two quick, two quick charge blasts should take out that thing, and all the atmospheric stabilizers are now back online. Awesome. So we're pretty much done in Sector 1. Shoot that to open up the gate and move on. Go through here. Here's a crack in the wall. Shoot it. Now here's where things get tricky. Got a wall jump all the way up here to get this missile tank. When it comes to pulling off wall jumps, I'm pretty ace at doing it. Alright, now that we got that missile tank, let's get out of Sector 1. Thank you guys very much for letting uh, watch me uh, let's play uh, Metroid Fusion, and I'm gonna save right here for the time being. So for now, we're gonna save. This is Leo Hightower, and for the time being, I'm out. I'll see you next episode, guys. <laughs>